Let's see, these are the flavors they got right here. I don't know which one I want. Hey. <laughs> All right, places to visit so i'm washing my car my car looks so good after i washed it hashtag shiny she was looking so good <laughs> Hey y'all, so I am here at a African um, cuisine, or like a food restaurant here in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm here with my friend and I got some, <laughs> I got some, um, here she is. <laughs> the rice is delicious. Now I'm gonna get ready to try the, the rice is really good. Mm, this is best of the rice. It has so much flavor in it. This good. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Chicken is good. It's like a curry. Chicken is good. Tastes like a curry. Mm. So just come here y'all for an experience and try some different foods. Made my church books for y'all and look. That's my book. <laughs> there it is. God is good. <laughs> Alright y'all, there it is. Multiple sclerosis. A bitter battle with an antibody party guess. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, that is so pretty. Look, y'all. This is what it says, y'all. So this is really cute, y'all. But I like I like the saying though. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I am here at the Juneteenth event. It is downtown Greensboro. I'm here y'all, I'm outside. We'll see what it's about. Of course, I'm under the shade. I'm not gonna be out here for a long time because it is uh, humid out here. Um, I don't have my cooling towel. Forgot my little wet fan because I really don't plan on being out here for a long time. But I'm gonna see what, uh, what it's about. I'm gonna look at some of these vendors and Call it a day, y'all. Ladies, just because y'all are single and fellas doesn't mean you can't get out in the community and enjoy yourself.
of 10 events like this. Now, I will say this. When you go out somewhere, make sure you are familiar with the area. I'm familiar with Greensboro. I'm most definitely familiar with this park. And I feel pretty safe. But, ain't no problem at all, y'all. Everything is good. I'm in the shade. I think I am gonna get me a snow cone. I probably should have gotten it before I sit down. Okay, hey, y'all, so I got something from um, Pelican. And I'm getting ready to fix me, y'all, a snow cone. I got Pelican snowballs. So I'm getting ready to fix me something from that. It's called $7. Let's see, these are the flavors they got right here. I don't know which one I want. Okay, y'all, so this is it. I got me a little bit of everything. I got me pink lemonade. I got a little bit of strawberry, blue raspberry, and a cherry. Okay, I'm gonna get a napkin now. It's the back of the food truck, y'all. So my lovely university, North Carolina Agriculture Technical State University, they have um, they have a table right there, and they are giving out free paraphernalia. And so they have this hoodie right here. And then they have this bag right here, and in the bag they have a t-shirt. So I'm definitely gonna just figure out which one my mom wants to get and we'll go from there. But yeah, this is exciting, y'all. This is wonderful. I'm glad I came. Uh, guys doing African drumming now. The snow comb is really good. So I'm going to uh, eat that. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all, I had to change spots. This is why we come together in these public spaces, right? And we do it so much that I don't think we understand the power of being able to be in a city in the South. I need y'all to think about this for a minute. We're in a city in the South honoring the enslaved Africans in a public square. Is that, is that hitting y'all in any way, shape, form, or fashion? Yes, no. This is important. This is powerful. This moment. Again, I'm going to say it again. To be in the city in the south, in the city square, prepared to call the names of ancestors who in previous times could not do what we're about to do in this space. This is major, y'all. Hey, y'all. Me and mom are here at the Charlotte Hawkins mm -hmm. Brown Museum again for the Juneteenth brunch you're gonna see what it's about we're looking to have great fellowship today great food great celebration and we will see y'all when we get in there bye y'all uh -huh. so the event is in Kimber hall Yeah, so what do you think so far about it? Yeah, I think it's, it's, 
bigger. I think it's nice. What do you think about like this environment? It's gorgeous in here. Yes. Yeah. I can just imagine how it was in the day. Yeah, and then the floors. Yeah. Peace 
for the peoples of the world so long as the white race seeks to deprive the darker people of their God-given right to live, to work, to have the education, the leisure, the culture that they covet for themselves. Thank you all. Um, and I officially welcome you to our first inaugural Juneteenth Black Film Club. Uh, we started doing, uh, Juneteenth started on a small piece of land uh, owned by a black Freeman, Fahim Hanna, and with two dozen people. And now uh, we have now, uh, hosted the fourth annual Black Food Truck Festival, which brought over 12,000 people to the city of Minnesota. of the uprisings, I was able to work with uh, Councilwoman Sharon Hightower to make Juneteenth an official holiday in the city of Greensboro. That happened in 2020. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and Hathor, too, um, unfortunately passed away in the same month that that actually took place. Uh, so I met her, um, I, I spoke her name on the second annual Food Truck Festival, and her family, like, comes, you know, Fourth, and so that was really, really special. And uh, we would be an echo to a new tradition, a contemporary way. You know how we go February 1? Who's at the February 1 breakfast, right? Aggie Pride? Aggie Pride. And then we have uh, MLK Day. We all know what we're going to do on MLK Day, right? And also, shout out to uh, Commissioner uh, Skip Austin, who also uh, created the Black Holiday in the city of Greensboro, which is MLK Day. And what I learned from him uh, over the last year was his elders shut him down too. <laughs> <laughs> but in other words, he actually rejected his desire to create that holiday, but he just said that he had the vision and he kept with it. And I really appreciated him sharing that story with me. Um, and so yeah, you all, we hope to return to each other over and over again. Um, and that is the desire to make sure that we're having conversations, that we're returning to each other, and, um, and making a new uh, tradition. So will you return to each other on June 19th annually? Can we make that commitment? Yes. The brunch was catered by Ava's Cuisine and Catering Services located in Greensboro, North Carolina. I like the sweet tea and the lemonade. The fruit was good. The bacon was good. The breakfast potatoes were great. The other things didn't like that much. Um, the grits were a little hard. The French toast wasn't my favorite. The eggs tasted okay. But I do look forward to trying some other meals at this restaurant because I did hear that they had really good food. And this brunch for Juneteenth to the table. My first answer was yes, yes, and yes. She also helped our other Black Faith Leaders group to understand the importance of having a farmer's market on Juneteenth. She brought that idea to that group and they're out there now uh, but I want to honor uh, Missy Barnes, someone who is so generous of her time. When I came in uh, to the larger meeting spaces, with Hospital because I was a psychology major at Bennett College. 
asked my boss if I could go to the march on Washington. She said, no. The lady I was staying with, Marion Phelps, called the administrator. I don't know what she said, but the next day I came to work and the lady, my supervisor said, you, you're off today, I'm going to let you off. So I got to go to the march on Washington. And here, Dr. Martin Luther King, in his I Have a Dream speech. Wow. I was in Hawaii in 1993, I think it was. I had a friend call from Greensboro and say, when you get home, you need to run for city council. You've worked with groups all over this city. I never thought about running for dog catchers, so <laughs> I, I, I'll pray about it. And I did. And I came back and I said, well, I probably won't win, but I will learn so much more about the city than I was born. Mm -hmm. I ran and, and, and as God would have, I won. Uh -huh. So I am thankful for the service I have in my heart and my soul. It has been such a gift to give my gifts and talents. As all of you have gifts and talents, and I hope you will give them as well. Thank you, April. April has been like my child. First council meeting she came to, she raised so much hell. <laughs> About something, I don't know. <laughs> and I remember looking at it going, and she smiled. Yeah. <laughs> but she she is a a gift to this city. She's a gift to the people who love her. And she's so talented. And she's so willing to give her gifts and talents. So I thank you all for being here. God bless you and have a great June team. that before. I'm so thankful for coming under her guidance, her <laughs> just her educating me. Um, I'm going to let her talk, y'all, because she does it way better than me. Please love on Dina Hayes Green today. Thank you. 